Welcome to AGRIP 3373, which is Animal Nutrition, taught by Dr. Kelly. This video is to show you how to navigate and use this online course, just in case you're not sure the online format and how it works. All right, when you log into Blackboard and you select this class, you will automatically land on this page. This is your announcements page. You will see announcements here from Dr. Kelly about different things going on. You can add tasks about things that are due, past due activity, tomorrow, etc. So you have all kinds of lovely little information here. And yes, you can go in and you can edit notifications and you can set different things the way that you like them. Most students just leave it generic like it is. This is the landing page. Oh, Dr. Kelly will announce you have a quiz. It's due by blah, blah, blah. Or don't forget, this assignment is due, etc. So this is your first thing we have. So this is part of your course communication, virtual office. You have multiple areas here. Option one, discussion board. So if you click on the virtual office and you click to launch, what it does is it takes you to the discussion board. And if you have a question about something, for an example, maybe you're having problems making a video, or maybe you're having problems getting video to play, maybe you need help with PowerPoint, you can click on, there you go, create a thread, and you can say, my question is, has anybody had problems embedding, um, I don't know, YouTube video into PowerPoint? Can you help me? And other students will see this, and they'll be able to respond to it. Dr. Kelly will see it, and he will eventually be able to respond to it. Think of this as like an online discussion board. It's a chat room. It's an area where you can learn all kinds of different things about what's going on. You're encouraged to help each other here. If you see a question posted here that you are that you know how to answer, somebody else has asked something, go ahead and answer them. If it's incorrect, Dr. Kelly will correct you. So here's just an example. So you can just say, I have questions about the course. Um, I don't know reply. So you click on reply and you can type in your question here. That's all it takes to answer things. All right, second option for virtual office. So let's say that it's not something simple like that. Like, do you have help with inserting a video? Maybe you need to talk to Dr. Kelly specifically about perhaps a writing assignment. He has virtual online office hours. They will be listed here, tell you it. And Dr. Kelly uses Skype. Skype is free, just Google it, go in, download it, create an account. Then what you will need to do is you will need to send him a Skype request to this particular Skype address during these time frames. And he'll be available if he's available. He will, of course, log in, answer Skype, and you'll be able to talk face-to-face -face using a webcam on your computer. So you need a laptop or you need a webcam on your desktop that you can talk back and forth and he will meet with you virtually and answer your questions that way. The third and the one that we discourage the most is send an email. And again, this is something that's private you don't want other people to know about. Maybe you have a question about a grade and you just want to check check to make sure or ask him something simple like, what can I do to improve it? I still would prefer you to do that with Skype because then he can explain it better. Email is like your final option. It's there, it's available for you if you need it. So try starting here with something simple. Then you go to your Skype for your virtual online office hours. Okay, let's get into course information. Your syllabus, course calendar, etc., will be placed here. So your syllabus, once he gets through with it, will be placed here first. Course policies go through, and they tell you examples about everything that goes on for the course, what you need to have, requirements, code of conduct, etc. These are all the same basic ones that are due for Sam Houston. There we go. Calendar, pop up the dates. Quick glance at the schedule. Here's your best schedule, what you're going to be doing, approximately how much time. So Dr. Kelly may change this up as it goes through. Same thing with your um, syllabus once it's posted. Go back and check it regularly. I wouldn't print it out. I would just keep it here and know that it's here because if something happens, he will change it in the syllabus and he will send you announcements to know about it. So make sure you pay attention to that. Log in and check it quite regularly. You should be logging into Blackboard for at least an hour and a half, two hours every week minimum just to check things and see what's going on so you should be checking this quite regularly for different things do not check your email check your blackboard required textbooks there are none you'll be given the assignments and the video lectures etc will be done delivered through you here in blackboard you can print out what you need and so forth library resources if you need to get help with resource if you need help with APA style if you need distance learning etc you can find all of those here so they're here some of you may need them some of you may not need them but they're here in case you do now here's the meat and potatoes. All right, so if you need help with basic Blackboard help, need help like something's not functioning correctly on your computer, like um, you can't get a video to play, uh, you would go to the need help and you would send a message to the help desk, not to Dr. Kelly, but to the help desk to see, find out more than likely your web browser is old and needs to be updated or your job needs to be updated or something like that. Student orientation, if you've never used Blackboard before, go through and browse through it. Grades is pretty self-explanatory. You click on it, it takes you to the grades and you have everything you need. 
and then we have everything here. So most courses, when you go into Blackboard, they should have a start here. You click on the start here, it literally does that. It gives you your course intro, content, tell explains the module, open it up. Video here explains different things for the overview, how it works, and you simply click here to browse back and forth through it. Most of them have a requirement where you have to at least browse through it once, and once you browse through it once, you can jump back and forth here and the little drop down menu options if you need to. So there's your basic overview. Module activities, getting to know, so introduction. So here you're gonna place your names just to get to know each other, it's real hard. So it's just like the discussion board. Um, we do advise you set your Blackboard profile because that allows everybody to know who you are, etc. Here's instructions for it. Come on, you. There it goes. So you click here, create a thread, and you will put in like it tells you to do. So Kelly, K E L L, Kelly, kind, energetic, laughter. You know, explain what you are when you get done. Click OK. So just create a thread, go in and type it in. When you get done, hit submit. Boom. OK. Let's start here. And then you can click here to return the module. Now, as far as your actual learning units, you will go here and you'll see folders. You notice there's a folder and a folder. So between the two, you should know you're in the right place. That goes over it. So this one is class orientation and history of nutrition. You'll have lectures and quizzes. So you click on the link to open it and start it. And again, it takes you through it. So it tells you what is the objective and what are the assignments you'll be doing. And then it takes you into, here's your notes. Here is your supplemental mental material. You can save it or you can print it on your home computer. You have a ledger. You simply click on the video. It will pop up and it'll play. This is where you may have technical difficulties, like your computer doesn't want to play it, doesn't want to play nice. That's when you would go to that help list on the side and get some help from support to find out what's going on. So you watch the video. Here's another one, a, a cow grazing, where it goes through and explains about the grazing and the process for that. And then you have an e-quiz that you're going to take. So you're going to log in, it tells you how long you have it, you have to complete it when you get done, etc. And so you simply click on begin, and uh, I have no clue, um, true, I don't know, I have to go look. You do not have to click save answer, you can just click and go to the next one, and you can go. And as you go, you keep going. When you get to the end, it'll say, are you done? You say submit, and it'll tell you what your grades, and it drops in. And it does give you a little warning here, hey, this is how much time you have left to complete it then. So once you start it, you have to complete it. So you only are given X amount of time. If you step away from the computer to do something else, that's fine, that is your choice, but you are limited on the amount of time you have to take this. So make sure you can complete it in the time allotted. Make sure that, let's say, the dogs are in the kennel or they're asleep. Let's say you feed and bathe the dead kids and they're asleep. Make sure you're able to complete it in the time frame you have because once it starts, you're done. So please make sure. All right, I'm gonna exit all that. Leave the page and here. Don't go back. And you go through, boom, boom, boom. All right. And that's pretty much it. And as the different courses units are open up through the semester, they will open up here. So you'll see them start stacking up. It's just when the quiz is done and due, the quiz will be turned off and you won't see it anymore. You'll see everything else in the folder. You'll see your notes, you'll see the videos, you'll see all that. You just won't be able to access the quizzes anymore. That's the only thing that gets turned off that you can't see anymore. All right, hopefully you enjoy this course and you learn a lot. If you have any questions, please feel free to go to the virtual office Please click here, please create a thread, and place them here. Because it may be something simple as, um, has anybody had any problems getting the quizzes to start? But you do that, and you can say, so, um, quizzes. Has anyone had a problem quizzes not starting? And you can go through, and if you, d and if you have, can you give me help on how to get the quiz to start? I can tell you one thing that we have discovered, that if you're having problems with pop-ups, et cetera, like the quizzes to run, all that kind of stuff, when you get your web browser at the top, a lot of times you will see a shield in the top of the browser, and if you click on that shield and turn it off, it'll work. 
the um, recommended web browsers for this would be Chrome, Firefox, or Safari. Internet Explorer 10 and above works okay. Sometimes it doesn't. I also advise you, step one, if it doesn't work in one browser, try another. It's really simple. And um, under need help, Come on, come on. Here's your different things. I want. There it is. Technical support. They move things around a little bit. I don't want to call. I want to go to. Preview because I was in student preview mode to show you this. Okay, if you go to SHSU online, because I know it always works in here, and then technical support, and then if you come in here, there's different technical support things that you need to know, like how do you clear cache, because that's the biggest problem people have when things are not working. So you click on this link and it shows you how to clear cache. Are you having problems with the web browser? So you can use the web browser to check. How do you disable? So most of the stuff you need the most will be right here in the top five. So what you're looking for, you will find there. All right. See you virtually in class.